Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk just briefly about solar panels. Right here we have a 440 watt Trina solar panel. It has about a 22% efficiency. You can see it's a big boy. It's almost as tall as I am. Um, I believe it's about 40 inches wide. We get calls all the time. People are looking at solar panels. They go online. They ask us for the highest wattage, the highest efficiency they can get. And I can understand why. But one thing I wanted to explain to you is right here, we have a 22% efficient panel at 440 watts. If this thing was say 2% more efficient, which the higher end panels might be two or 3% more efficient, instead of 440 watts, this might be 460, 480 watts. For that extra 20 watts or so, you're gonna pay a premium, a lot more money. And when you break it down for price per watt, it's much more expensive to get a very highly efficient panel. What I would say instead, if you're putting solar panels on your home, is if you add one extra of these panels, you can make up for that efficiency and pay a significantly less. 22% efficient, that's a pretty high efficiency. They do make them more efficient, uh, but again, it's not a big difference, two or 3%. Another thing to look at um, is the wattage. People say, oh, I saw that there's a panel that's 750 watts. Yes, that is true, but it's probably even taller and wider because if it's 22% efficient or even 23 or 24% 23 or 24% efficient, it's gonna need a larger footprint. And you have to keep that in mind if you're putting solar panels on, for, for instance, on a roof. How many rows of solar panels can you fit on your roof? You might only fit two rows of the 550, 600 watt panels, where you could maybe fit three rows or three and a half rows if you turn a landscape instead of portrait of this panel. That's something to take into account. A higher, efficient, a higher efficiency panel doesn't mean you're gonna get more wattage on your roof. It can mean that, but it doesn't mean that every time. What I like about the Trina solar panel is it's a tier one company. It's one of the largest manufacturers in the world. Yes, it is made in China. Um, Tariffs could affect the solar panel, um, but it's at a good price at a high efficiency um, and it's a well-known company. That's one thing we worry about is over the last 15 years that we've been installing solar panels, we see a lot of large companies come and go. And even though this comes with a 25 year warranty, like most solar panels do have a 25 year warranty from the manufacturer, the concern is, is the company going to be around in say 10 years or 15 years if you have an issue? And that's why it's important to look at tier one companies, the largest manufacturers that are bankable, profitable, and have a good reputation for their quality. A solar panel like this has a 25 year warranty on defects, okay? They also, most solar panels come with a product warranty and then a linear performance warranty. And the linear performance warranty is based on the production of the solar panel. So this panel could produce 440 watts DC electricity if it's in full sun, okay? It does degrade over time because it's subjected to the UV rays. It's about half a percent per year. So a performance linear warranty, uh, the standard warranty is at 25 years that the solar panel should still be producing about 80% of what it was producing when it was new. We get a lot of questions um, when people are adding solar panels to their home, to their roof. It's a lot of glass going up on the roof and they're concerned about hail hitting it and causing issues. This is a tempered glass, it's very strong. Hail generally does not, I have not seen hail uh, break this. I know there are some states that have hail the size of baseballs and if they're coming down hard, I think they could crack the solar panels. Uh, we haven't seen that here in Maryland, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. However, it is important to add, if you, if you go solar and add solar panels to your home, to add the solar electric system to your homeowner's insurance. The question is, after 25 years, if this thing's producing 80% of what it was, is it worth keeping or should it be replaced? And that's up to you. I tend to side with, hey, I made a long-term investment. The thing's still producing well. It's still saving me money. Yes, I could replace the system and have you know, 25 years from now, even a higher efficiency panel, maybe I can get 50% more wattage off my roof. Um, but if you look at the cost, is it worth it? You'd have to decide that on your own. This particular solar panel has 132 solar cells. You can kind of see them right here. They're square. Um, in the past, a panel like this might be 60, cell, 60 cells, larger cells and they're round. Um, they made these more compact instead of round, they made them square. So you don't have the big white circle uh, between the, the round uh, solar cells. They've learned to cut the cells in half 
um, and that gives a little bit more power, a little bit more efficiency. Um, and that's why you see a lot more cells on uh, the newer panels in a panel like this Trina 440. So if you're looking to add solar to your home or business or buying a solar panel really for any reason, look at the total wattage, the size of the system, and you can consider the efficiency. Look at the warranty. They should all have a 25 year warranty. I recommend looking for a tier one company, a company that's been around for a while. That way, if you do have any issues in the future, they're gonna be around to cover your warranty.